Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons, terrorize! <laughs> It's worse if I hold it like that. <laughs> I, I, I like to. Okay, we just started recording, and and we we can we can start it up on that. Hi. The first uh, thing here on the podcast is it's worse if I hold it like this. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think if you're actually watching the podcast, it may be worse. So, yeah. uh, welcome to TFYLP. I. Uh, I think what is this uh, going to be episode 335 uh, 3035 yes maybe something like that uh so yeah we're doing another pre-record with father's day coming up uh that we figured that we would give ourselves a day off uh to you know spend with our dads and kids and nephews yes. nieces all that type of thing so many of us had had plenty of accidents so we're celebrating father's day <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so I've, uh, my, myself here, Lucas Bockelman, I'm uh, joined by Sean McGinnis over here to the hey. right. We've got Paul Framel down below me. Hello. And over there in the corner, we've got uh, Rick Alvarez. My, my screens are arranged completely different from yours, Lucas. Yeah, you know, it, it is who's, what it is. Who's below you? Yeah. I am below him. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, and, and, and Rick over there has been uh, messing with his monster. My my gray worm. Gray worm. My gray worm. I lost my falcon. Oh, here it is. So I was just talking to the boys about how I'm gonna hang this up from the ceiling, and just because a lot of my ceiling is um, uh, it looks like a cavernous interior. Uh, you can't really tell in this section, but I'll. I'll move my camera it, it looks like basically my basement looks like the inside of the g1 arc with like stalactites hanging out and like rock formations and dinosaur bones and so i was going to take the, the space worm and put them out of like a hole i have here in the ceiling have a little falcon fly out does that thing have a name in star wars space worm I've never looked it up. Say, so doesn't sure everything does. have have a name in Star Wars? I'm sure it does, but the the toy is called Space Worm. Oh, and then it's probably just a space worm. Space worm. So, Rick, when you finish your basement, what percentage is going to be Transformers versus other properties? So, I am very fortunate that I I married very well. <laughs> And uh, my wife's like a doctor or something. I, I, I don't get involved. I don't, I don't know, man. So um, I have this 2,200 square foot space with, with gorgeous 16 foot tall ceilings. And I have seriously underestimated the amount of space that I need. So um, I thought I was going to have like my G.I. Joe section. I was going to build an Eternia diorama over here and have a whole Lego city and it is quickly turning into just a room of Transformers, so I, I may need to annex one of the bays in the garage for everything else. Now, now, does your wife know about this yet? Uh, you know, she works a lot, so she's not often home. So I figured, you know, I, I'm going to let her discover things on her own. <clears throat> she, she doesn't go into the garage very often, so... Well, there you go. I should I should be good for a, for a few months. So so there's no parking in the garage. Right now, there, so we've been in this house for three years, and we've never once parked our cars in the garage because that's where a lot of my toys are. Uh, but as I've been building more and I've been unpacking more, uh, there is light at the end of the tunnel. So I think hopefully this this winter, 
winters in Massachusetts, you know, lots of snow, I believe we'll be able to put at least one car in our in our garage. I can I can give you a little tour of what I've been doing, if you so want. Sure. Uh, fun. So uh, here's a here's a carded wall. Uh, nothing's uh, merchandised appropriately. It's just organized unpacking. Here is uh, so this is uh, you start here, right? And you're moving down Armada. You got your Outer John Universe 1.0. You got your animated. It goes to Titaniums. You got Bakon up top. Power Core. Uh, Robot rescue power siege stuff, guys. Um, my no, again, nothing's organized. It's just organized and packing. So uh, masterpieces, and then you have so, the big cases. Which so, have all Sonar, the Rick, are, are, you, are you zone commercial there? Because I mean, you could open up a pretty good retail store just uh, right now. Uh, yeah, but I don't really sell. So this is, uh, this is the movie wall. Um, this is kind of organized. So wow. it goes up to, uh, Dark of the Moon and some of movie four. So. So is that, is that mostly stuff you worked on? Uh, yeah. there's some stuff here that I worked on, yeah. Um, we got our carded displays over here. Um. This is just G1 stuff, but it's not, nothing's organized. I just threw the stuff in the case. You know, nothing's nothing's organized. But um, I did happen to find a, a box of unproduced stuff, which I can show on the on the podcast tonight if that's if there's any interest. Oh yes, please. So um, yes. so this is the Armada. This is oh wait, Robots in Disguise Armada. Uh, then it goes to Energon, and then it goes, uh, you know, Minicons down there. Uh, that arm, that Armada packaging was so mega, <laughs> so yeah. so extra. So we have, uh, you know, Beast Wars, Beast Machines, Universe, Cybertron. Uh, so again, nothing's completely organized the way I, I need it to be. I'm just well, unpacking. So so it's not organized, but like, do you essentially, do you think you have like one of everything, like a hundred percent complete? Uh, is that kind of your plan or? No, no, no. <clears throat> no what Beast you got Wars, is what you got. Yeah. Uh, ever since Beast Wars came out, I've been trying to do uh, at least one of each. Uh, I try to do two of each, one to open and one to keep sealed, plus a variant. So those are actual Toys R Us cases. That's a Toys R Us case. Uh, so that'll be all my G1 reissues. And there's another Toys R Us case over here. Uh, that's, a, that's a bumper from the movie. Some, someone sent me. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the big Optimus Prime from the from the theater display. The big, he's holding his sword. He's kind of tilting over. So, uh, yeah, I kind of rated Toys R Us when they closed. <laughs> I had a buddy who worked there, and I, uh, he's like, yeah, bring a truck. Okay. So, you know, this is all uh, RPMs, uh, Dark of the Moon. I don't, I don't know if this is of any interest. But, you know, this is uh, movie one. So, and then here is, uh, that is supposed to be my USS flag. Um, I'm not done my flag yet. Uh, it's uh, 16 and a half feet long by six and a half feet wide. Holds uh, 26 sky strikers. I may have to move that out of here because I don't know if I'll have any GI Joes in here. So it's just interesting to see some of that stuff like in a store display setting after so many years. You know, like RPMs, for instance. I just haven't seen them all. In yeah, the they're, they're all on pegs. and. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's uh, it's getting there. Once it's all done, we'll do a show. We'll do a show on it or something. So, 
Looking good. It's getting there. Three years. Three years I've been in this house. I need to get this done. I got I got at least another five years of life left. I need to get this done. <clears throat> One day, you just sit back and be like, all right, it's done. I can... But that's the thing. That's why I love Transformers. Never done. It'll yeah, never done. be It'll never be done. The hunt is always there, and that's what I love about it. Other brands, I collect a bunch of stuff. Mask, Black Star. You know, you can you can finish those lines. You can get everything. You can get every variant. You can get all the European reissues and everything. But with Transformers, the hunt's always there. And what I love about Transformers is you'll still find things from 1984 or 1985 that you never knew existed. There'll always be some kind of third licensed good merchandise out there that you never knew existed that you can get. Or, so just, or even unpacking, some... just unpacking stuff, I'm like, I didn't know this existed. So like, I, I unpacked a, a box the other day, I had a Soundwave beach towel from 85. I'm like, <laughs> where did I buy this? Where did this come from? I saw something on Instagram today I'd never seen before. It was like a, a McDonald's Optimus Prime that actually, it looked kind of like the world's smallest, but it was definitely from the 80s. I had never wow. seen it before. Yeah. I'll I've see if I can. Heard of that. Huh. If I can pull it up, I'll share it with you guys. But as, as Instagram goes, you see it and then it's like gone forever. <laughs> I'm not a part of that Instagram. Yeah, it never really made sense to me. You know, like, I'm on Facebook all the time, but I, I don't know. For some reason, that just didn't click. It's because we're old. Yeah. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty vibrant as far as a Transformer community goes. And it's, you, you know, very different. I noticed I shaved my beard off. I took two inches off my face. Whoa. So now oh. I actually look like I'm 40 instead of being 40 and looking like I'm 50. <laughs> Sean, you've been awfully quiet. Say something. Hi. <clears throat> I like Transformers. They Good talk. Fun. So tonight, <laughs> I don't think we really have a topic. I think it's 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 what I call the laces out show, which is just uh, let's uh, let's sit around and just uh, shoot off stuff that we're going to talk about. So um, it could be anything uh, as long as it's Transformers related. Sean, you have the floor. All right. Cool. That Transformers. Is- Nice. Um, yeah. So Transformers are cool, and we all like them. What have you transformed lately, Lucas? Oh, I see how it is. You're just going to pass the baton to me. <laughs> wow. So, that, was a, that was a great handoff, man. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Thanks yes, 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 yes. part of this show. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I've been, like, redoing my display, like, 500 times lately um so i don't have nearly as much space as you do uh in in your basement but on my upstairs i've got like a um a couple nice nicer bookshelves or whatever and that's like their glass fronts and everything and i put i I put my nice figures there um typically and so i kind of rotate stuff around uh with that so i've been rotating around trying to find like what is the perfect display for for right now so uh, so I've been doing doing that, and uh, let so me can see. I can I interject because uh, every time I see you on the show, you're you're standing in front of your loose display items. Right. So um, I'm wondering because I have I keep all my loose stuff inside of cases, but I'm wondering like how often do you like take them off the shelf, mess around with them, or just like just generally like dust and clean? Because even in the cases, I'll still get dust. Um, you know, I don't get a ton of dust down here, um, in this room, but like, I pretty much close this room off. Um, and like my kids are down here every once in a while and and me, but we're not like in this room constantly. So I, I don't have to do a lot of dusting. Um, but yeah, it's really more re like whenever I rearrange, so I'm, I'm constantly rearranging. You probably see behind me that figures are always changing so that's well, it usually I'm, looks like there's masterpiece behind you uh it just depends like i i just have these 
sitting behind me right now um, just for the hell of it. Um, so I don't know. I'm trying to figure out. So we have uh, TF Expo is coming up here at the end of July. And so I have a booth there. And so I'm trying to decide, you know, what do I want to sell at, at the booth? So that's kind of been rotating stuff around because um, unlike you, Rick, um, I, I buy and sell a lot. Of, of transformers and so that's kind of like when i get new stuff in i'm shipping stuff out so that's what i'm trying to trying to figure out but i've uh you know i'm into a lot of the like third party stuff um in addition to official um so i kind of get a little bit of everything as am I. And you know what i haven't even accounted for that yet in my collection where all my third party boxes are going to go because some of them are just crap, and I just I'm gonna pack them up and put them away. But some third-party boxes are really, really nice, and I want to be able to, to display them. So I haven't even accounted for for where those are gonna go. I might have to build another house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my my wife gets really so. annoyed about the boxes. Like I think that she is okay with all like you know it's like oh whatever like that looks fine. But um, I have, like, another room just full of boxes. And so she's just, like, why? And then I have another room full of shipping supplies. And and she gets really annoyed about all that stuff. As Robert calls it, Box Mountain. <laughs> you have a Box Mountain to uh, climb? <clears throat> yeah, I also have a Box I, Mountain. I believe it's called Robert. Robert, yes. Yeah, I believe that's how it's pronounced. S- Simo. You know, whenever your collection's always rotating and changing and you're always shipping and buying, it's hard to get rid of those boxes. So, you know, my boxes <laughs> are on top of my Datsun back home. So. Oh, you have a Datsun? <clears throat> yes, 77 280Z. Ah, I had a uh, 1982 280Z, and then I had a two 1987 uh, 300ZXs. Nice. They are money pits. Yes. Yeah. That's mine, mine, has, mine has not ran since 2014. So. Yeah, that's why I don't have them anymore, mm-hmm. and I will never buy them again. Does Nissan still make the uh, the Zs? They do. They've made the 370Z for 10 years now without the. You're up to 370. Yeah, without a, a significant body change, so the, it's 10 years of the same car. Shows how much I know, man. I've been uh, the last one I saw was like the 350. Yeah, yeah, I had a 350 in 08. It was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, the best car I've ever had is my minivan. Mm-hmm. Make yeah. fun of me all you want, but you know that thing's a V8. It fits my kids, my family. If I need to go to a show, I can take it to a show. Uh, yep. It's great, man. Yeah, yeah, we have a Sienna. It's it's nice. It, it's right. funny we, how we, things... we have a half a dozen kids, so. I just got the two kids that I know of. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, oh, it's yeah. funny, too, how things change to where, you know, before you're like, oh, you're, you're looking at that hot 350Z or whatever, and now you're like, oh, man, like that uh, that, that Dodge minivan over there, that, that caravan yeah. looking pretty oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> that caravan, uh, yeah. that town and country is looking pretty sweet. I drove uh, by the, do you the believe Jeep how and many- Dodge dealership. Did the same thing. I was like, that's nice looking. <laughs> it's like, can you believe how many cup holders that thing has? Oh, man. So, Lucas, can I send you a pic? Can we do screen shares? Yeah. Can I- I'm going to send you a picture here. Uh-oh. So. Uh-oh. It's of my garage, like, as soon as I moved right. into my house. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll send it to you here in a second. Okay. Are you sending it via Messenger? Uh, Messenger, yeah, Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Yep. There, there you go. You got it, Sunshine. Okay. Uh, let me check it out here. So, so um, you know, it's funny we were talking about cars and minivans because, like, the last few months. Uh, so I, I've been at home uh, for about four years now as a stay-at-home mom, and um, uh, in the last few months I, I got a job as a marketing director at a at a company that's local to me nothing to do with toys and um 
like I've got this itch to like go out and buy a Mustang for some reason. Like I want to get a Cobra. Like I just got like this. I, I don't know. Maybe I turned forty and, and like I got this like. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> I, I need to go and and like I just want a black Cobra sitting in my driveway. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm going to come home one day and my wife's going to be really mad. I saw a brand new Mustang. It must have been like the bullet style because it was the dark forest green with the black wheels. It looked nice. Yeah, that's the bullet. All right, so we'll yeah, go ahead and share your photo here, Rick. So okay. that that's my uh, garage when I moved in to my house. And I would say I've got about a third of what's in that picture removed. Out of the out of the garage. So. Yeah, that is that is a fair amount of stuff. That's a substantial so that, collection. So that that was most of my collection, and then all my display cases were in the basement when we moved in, because I I didn't want the toys down here because there was no drywall, there was no framing, there was no flooring, nothing. So it's easier to move an empty display case than. Um, and move a uh, you know a case uh, full of loose figures. So would aisles down there be out of the question for you? Or do I you have, do you have mo- if you made aisles of toys to fit more toys, um, would would that be out of the question, or is that just? I, I like the emotional impact it has on people when you walk in and you just like it's one mm-hmm. giant room, uh, but. Uh, I have a lot of um, uh, peg displays uh, from clothing stores that have gone out. So like, it's like that you would put shirts on this side and shirts on the other side. But you know, I put I put carded figures on those. So there's a lot of those that are going to be dispersed throughout the room. Uh, and then I have um, I'm up to 41 glass cases in my collection. So all all different sizes. All, all of them but six are from, like, our second hand. So the best place to get cases, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. Look for uh, jewelry stores that are closing. Uh, that's where most of my cases have, have all come from. Only uh, only six cases have, um, were like, brand, brand new. Is there, you know, I don't, I don't know where you actually live, Rick, but, like, is there any fear of flooding? Oh, no, no, not, not in this basement. Yeah, no, we... Before any of the toys got ever unpacked, everything was was taken care of. Okay. Everything, the money I, was spent to make sure that doesn't happen. I have a friend whose basement just flooded the other day, and I'm just like, ah, I would not wish that upon my worst enemy. And he has a lot of a lot of his stuff in his like storeroom got got messed up. Oh, uh, yeah. Sucks. A lot of a lot of box stuff. Yeah. Um, I will say everything's off the ground anyway. It's either in a case or it's on a peg hook. So there's the only stuff that's on the ground is unfortunately a stuff that can't really be replaced. Like I have that giant 10 foot tall Optimus prime from uh, the last night holding the sword. Um, I got a lot of like cardboard standees from, from different stores. So I, there's no way to elevate that stuff unless I put a platform under it. Yeah. You can't, you can't protect everything and you can't, yeah. you can don't overdo it, you know, <laughs> Yeah, but so, it, yeah. So, just just saying because like I've I've gone through that and it's awful. It's like the worst thing ever. So so I, I want to talk to um, I want to talk to Sean here for a second because yeah. I noticed there's a pattern between the uh, the older crowd where we all have mm-hmm. uh, toys behind us or or a room and Sean you're you're the young guy on the group. Hey, um, I'm where, where I am do you keep 30... your toys? Like, Six, I believe. Thirty. So you're, yeah, so you're the baby. So the, you're the baby. Yeah. Yeah, you're the baby. So I know you do have a toy room. What's up? Yeah, my my up. toy room is. Let me show you my toy room. Show it off. This is my toy room. No, no. I know you've got you've got a couple of glass cases, right? I do back home, but we're moving out of state, so uh, okay. I came a, I came ahead. Our house actually has sold so soon. I'll have all my stuff again. So I just brought a box of stuff with me. Alright. So you're at facility two then. Yeah, so yeah, I am. Your at, display uh, is not I'm at the satellite. I, I could right. be on the moon for as far as I know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it gets lonely on the moon. 
So, so yeah, I brought I brought a few things to keep me company, you know. So have you been doing any customs? You know, I have one that I need to do, and I have one for Lucas I need to do, and it's hard to get time in my buddy's shop, so soon. Work has been really busy. So, Sean, I don't know if you're, you know, you're a little newer to the group, and this is our first show together. Yeah. Uh, we actually have a mascot for Tiflip. You might have heard it pronounced T-F-Y-L-P. It's actually pronounced Tiflip. Tiflip. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's the... Uh, yeah, no, I know the mascot. And Anna keeps him. No, no, no. It's <laughs> no, Rod- no, that's it's the Rodimus. microcasters. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. No, that's the. Yeah. It's, it's Rodimus. Oh, fuck, yeah. So we need to make a Rodimus. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. It's goddamn kids. To play on words. That's a good dad joke. Hey, it's, that's a good one. <laughs> it's, it's from a show from a long time ago Rod- Rodimus Prime. Well, you know, it would be good to make Rodham Moose, right? You, you no, take the uh, the R.I.D. Uh, Thunderhoof and a Rodimus and kind of... I always like. thought we'd take the Beast Wars Neo horse. Uh, what's it? Mock Kick? Yes. Sad, uh... But the, the idea with Rodham Moose is that the, you know, the, the fin on the back are, are the antlers. Yep. Yeah. That would be nice. That would be nice. Rodimus. So, so, so Sean. Paul. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. Well, go well, ahead. I was just gonna ask Sean since you're moving and everything. Are you, uh, are, are you thinking about downsizing your collection so you don't have to move it, or are you bringing it with you on a big moving truck? My, my collection Excellent has question. been consolidated into a bunch of storage totes, 55 gallon, so they're all Ziploc bagged and packed away, and they're ready to move. In life, there you yes. go. I I just, I got rid of six bins last week. I collapsed them all into each other and I put them in the garage. I'm like, these these are empty now. <laughs> they mm-hmm. are empty. Sean, you could start up an infinity closet like Peter. What, what does that uh, mean? Where you just, where you just like take closet. them off the shelf, like half of them, and throw them away. No, Peter. Peter, uh, who's also on the show as well, that he has his own. Uh, he's been doing like a monthly YouTube thing, showing off, like showcasing new stuff that he got and like interesting things and and everything. But he has a storage unit that he has. He calls the Infinity Closet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna subscribe that's, to that. Yeah, no, you great. totally that's should. It's good. really good. It's a really good show. That's clever. Yeah. And he loves to give, like, he's like kind of the walking Wikipedia, you know? So he shows everything he gets and tells you exactly why it's special and where it came from and the history of it. Yeah, yeah, that would be nice. I must subscribe. Paul, I bet you don't have one of these. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> they, really? They were on clearance at one point. <laughs> oh, no, that's not, I wouldn't have gotten yeah. it. I mean, There's I a reason gotten, they were on clearance. I mean, I <laughs> might have gotten great. it if I had seen it, but that's not something I like need to have. People used to hate me at Hasbro because I it's pronounced RPMs, but I used to call them Ripums. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they hated that. <laughs> Yo, Ripum. So, so I've mm-hmm. been uh, unpacking stuff, and I, I found a bunch of you know odds and ends. And uh, you you want to see some of them? Yeah. yeah. You know so so uh, you know this is the standard long haul right from Revenge of the Fallen. Yep. This is the original one. All the Voyagers came out packaged in vehicle mode. Long haul was the only one that was packaged in robot mode in this type of box. Starscream and Mix Maxer did come out in robot mode in a. In a box that was like like this. Yeah, vertical box. Right. So, you know, this is like a pretty tight fit. So I think there's there's official pictures of this out there. It was pretty late in the game when they decided to switch it, but I don't think any of these actually hit retail. Yeah, I've never seen that. So is that is it like almost bursting out of the box? It's it's really tight, man. It's it's yeah. I can definitely understand why they put it in robot mode. 
So, so here I got a question. Just since, since you brought that up, and maybe you can answer it. So that that's like a sample, or like forty eight of those got made and shipped to Hasbro. You think? Um, I I would probably say there's there's several of these out there. Okay. Whether they still exist or not, I don't know. Well, I, I guess I I ask because I wonder if like you know they when they assemble the toy, right? They probably have it ready to go in the box. Or at least whichever mode. So if if they made them all like, oh yeah, we're gonna put them in truck mode, and then they're like, nope, we're changing it all to robot so, mode. Do they have to transform all of them? <laughs> again? No, no. But here's the thing, though. Like, you could tell this is the last minute thing because they actually molded a bubble for this to fit onto. Mm. And that that's money, right? That's tooling. Yeah. That needs to happen. So like, this was a very late decision. So. Um, I, I've seen a few of these ar- around. I, d- I don't know of anyone who has them, so I don't know if any of them survived or not. But, I mean, the boxes are completely identical. It's just the bubble that holds the figure is different because it's in vehicle mode as opposed to robot mode. Huh. Yeah, that's, that's really so, cool. So if anyone knows if this actually came out at retail anywhere, please let me know because I, I really want to know if, if maybe like the first wave came out like that. I, I, I wouldn't I don't, be surprised if it did. It would be. It would have been in like a limited, you know, location because I definitely didn't ever yeah, see that. Like, like California, we got the first shipments or something. Yeah, something like that. So, um, and then I, you know, I, this is something I actually showed on the show before. This is um, a gift box. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> um, it's weird because it only has four Constructicons in it, and one. Three of them are transformed to robot mode, and one of them is transformed into the combiner mode, hmm. which is weird. And it comes with a, a green decoed uh, Voyager, Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. Yeah, I, I have the Megatron from that, but I've never been able to find the, uh, the Constructicons. Or I've never even seen uh, That's only been like on display in, in the UK for some show one time. That's a really, really rare thing. So This that's is awesome. for uh, the Hunt for the Decepticon set. Um, I believe only the scrapper is a new color. So this is this is a red scrapper. I believe this was the only way you could have gotten him in this color. The other ones, I believe, are the same color as, as other releases. Um, the scrapper was red. It's just weird because there's only four of them, and there was never any plans to put the other ones in another package somewhere else. Yeah, so that's weird. It's just like, hey, what do we have available... What can we what can we assemble type thing? That's a really awesome piece. So keeping in that line, I've got like um, Peter would flip out if he saw that. <laughs> Hunt, Hunt for the Decepticons. This is um, there were a couple gift sets like this. This one's for Target. Um, it actually has um, uh, three uh, agents in it. Uh, what were they for? They weren't nest by part three. What were they called? I don't know. Nest, nest. I, I don't. Nest came and went. Who knows? Um, but it has a. It has ravage. It has flak and roll bar. And flak and roll bar are uh, unique decos. And then the agents are all unique tooling. So those those never came out. Really? Wow. This was. So, uh, this so was, like, yeah. what happened with that? Where okay, that's a target exclusive right it has the box of target like right what what happened to where it got canceled before it actually came out uh probably what happened was sales were slow because with any movie you order like the first three waves so that you have them all day one and they just sit there and you order a ton so the shelves are always full and they just sit there and sit there and sit there and then wave four comes out but you only get like two boxes then wave five comes out and you, you only get two boxes because you still have like three boxes of wave one, two, and three sitting there. So uh, they just sales had dropped off. So they just um, they never made it. This this one to me is the cooler of the two. This is um oh yeah that the, one's awesome. The three RCs with um a uh, unique um, sideways. He's he's got like a cut. Yeah. Like the cut down there. Um, man, this is awesome. I was wondering who had all this stuff, and <laughs> I'm glad I, got no. <laughs> I don't. Has this stuff been seen before? 
other it's, than it, like, it was on display at a um, at a toy show, but then it never came yeah. out. Yeah. I mean, because at the end of Revenge of the Fall and Hunt for the Decepticons, there was a bunch of stuff in Japan that didn't come out either, like right. the sil Silver Megatron and that awesome, you know, jet power Optimus thing. Yeah. And those gift sets are kind of like the thing of legend. Some of them yeah. came out in uh, the UK, but so not I think, that. I think all three RC sisters are uniquely decoed as well. Yeah. For this. So there, there was a little more attention paid to this. I don't think the Ravage in this set is any different, but it it's possible, like, there's there's a stripe on him, so it's possible that he's different, too. Uh, I, mean, I mean, usually if there was if there was anything different, most of the other stuff had something... Like, it was just, like, close to the same deco, but it was so, different. Not every time, but a not lot. Not every time. So, I'm, I'm curious so. now, though, that we, you know, we have Hasbro, Pulse, and the Selects line and whatnot. Do you think that we would have a situation like that happen again? Or do you think that like, say, for example, that Target decided oh, to pull their order that, that Hasbro would all of a sudden now say, oh, this is a Selects exclusive. No, uh, usually what happens, and it may have changed since then, but if it's offered to one retailer, uh, you, usually it's, like, made for that retailer, and then that, it kind of kills it. So there's been a few exceptions where something's made and the deal falls through. So I can think of, like, the Dark Energon stuff that went to Big Bad Toy Store. Mm-hmm. I can't remember who that was made for. I think that I don't. Th I think that was stuff was made without it having an exact home. Like the exclusives team just made it, thinking they were going to sell it to someone. But I don't think Amazon bought it or whoever it was didn't buy it, and it ended up going to Big Bad, which um, unfortunately, you know, it, it didn't do all that well. I guess because I I, I saw them on clearance for a while, but. Uh, I think that was just poor advertising that they were available there. I, I see a lot of people saying, I never knew those, ex those existed, but... Uh, they and they that, still have them. I don't know. I know they had them for years. Yeah. So the, the so I worked on those. So the uh, Starscream was definitely Deco to Skywarp. That was supposed to be Skywarp. And then the uh, Wheeljack was Slicer, 100%. Slicer. So... And the, all four figures were great. All, all four deluxes were great, and then there, were, there was the Optimus and the Megatron as well. But uh, And the Optimus was the G2 combat hero Megatron Optimus mm -hmm. that never got released. So um, This is something that I photographed for the uh, vault book from Pablo Hidalgo a bunch of years ago. This is the um, uh, Megabolt Megatron, but it's actually on a Beast Machines card. It, can, it only came out in uh, vehicle mode on an RID card. So there's an actual card produced for this. Yeah, that was that was another so, one of those end of line things, right? Yep. This and the uh, Air Attack was it was it Air Attack Optimus or whatever the whatever the big Optimus was called. What was that called? It wasn't Air Attack. It was um, they they did it again for the year of the monkey. Oh, that that giant. It's the uh, big beast, the one with the fingers, the, right? Yeah, it's the giant beast machines Optimus Primal. He came out in RID, but they never put they never packaged that into a beast machines box. Oh. That never got to that stage. Hmm. So, um, this is something. Lucas. Yeah, not um, Lucas. But hey, there, we Sorry, lost Sean. Yeah. Sean's back. He didn't lose me. So. Uh, this is the only one I was able to grab <laughs> I'm on my way out. Oh! This is, um... <laughs> what? Boom! No, that's, what? A, that's another awesome toy. You taking this with me? <laughs> like, that this is, a uh, rumble. This that. never... So I want to confirm, this never came out, right? No. It, 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 uh, there, I remember hearing people say it was it maybe came out in the UK, like, here and there, but uh, I'm pretty sure it was unreleased. All right, so this is rumble on a reveal the shield card and so uh, Joe Kide worked on this he was he was a designer on this and I said Joe we gotta do a running change on this he's like what do you mean so I'm like Joe like halfway through the production run switch the name to Frenzy <laughs> evil said, that's, that's gonna oh. piss people off I'm like I know 
but it never it never came out. Otherwise, you know, like you know, we would have made like five thousand and then switch it, and then the last five thousand would have been frenzy. So that's how that you sell. My, that's how you sell ten thousand of them. So that was my goal. So uh, the um, ATB Megatron. Uh, I forget what line it came out for. It came with the comic book, I think. Uh, the d- little deluxe one. G- the Generations Deluxe. It was based off the IDW, IDW comic book. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Right. So my originally, like, I pitched it as a Voyager, and I said, hey, let's make, you know, like, 10,000 of these in black, and then we'll make, like, 5,000 in gray, in, like, gunmetal gray. And we'll just keep the box the same. And we'll just we'll just ship them out in the same boxes. And, and I'm like, we'll take the War for Cybertron Soundwave, and halfway through, we'll switch to black and make it Sound Blaster. And just keep the boxes the same. But, like, the idea... Like, they didn't get the idea, so they made Soundwave, and then they shut it off, and they made Sound Blaster, and they put Sound Blaster in his own box. I'm like, yeah, that's cool that we got it, but, like, the whole idea was to create like, like a hunt, like a chase, like which one do you have? Because Marvel was doing that, like mm-hmm. they would package a Spider-Man, and then Dave Vonner, who was the head of Marvel, would call the factories like package him upside down, because he's Spider-Man. <laughs> so they would package Spider-Man upside down, and he's like they would make a Vision figure, and then Dave would call the factories like now run it in clear, and they would make a clear Vision, but it's the same packaging. Right, it's the same skew. Like literal variant. It's a literal variant, right? On purpose to create like a, a talking point, to create like online talk about the products, and that's what right. I was trying to, to do at that time. Same barcode. That, same know, barcode, exactly. So that that's what I was trying to create at the time. So um, here's another thing. This is from Transformers Prime. This is um, uh, you can't really. There you go. There's a lot of glare. I'm sorry. This is um, uh, a Starscream and a Bumblebee, but do you remember the, the one that came with uh, the kids? Yeah. This one comes with Silas and, uh, and an agent. So those were actually told up, and um, they never... Mech Soldier. So this was told up, uh, packaged with a DVD, which includes three episodes... And I don't know where this, this was going to go, but it, this one never hit. I want to say I have I have a few of those. Yeah? So that, that one might have been, like I want to say it was like Canada or something, but I don't know. So Did this come out? I it, I think it had a limited release. Okay. But if it, anybody it knows if this came out, please let me know, because I, I, I would very much like to know if it if it got released or not. Because I know I have, I have the set loose. Um... But I have no idea where I got them from. So I, like, I asked Orson the other day. Like, I found this and I and I sent a picture of it to Orson from Captured Prey, who's one of our sponsors, uh, CapturedPrey.com. Go buy the stuff from them. And uh, he said it didn't come out. So, well, I might have. It's I'm so misty. I might have found that on eBay, you know, back in the day, and like just cleared them out. It was like she, five, six years ago. But here's something that definitely never came out. So this is yeah. <laughs> that, that giant, ugly mech Optimus Prime battle suit. And it came with uh, a Viacon, which you can't see at all. The Viacon's right here. You can't see it. Bumblebee, Ratchet, RC, and then the larger Legends figures of Starscream and Optimus. And then it has uh, the figures... Of Wheeljack, Optimus, and Cliff Jumper in cardboard on the figure to, on the on the giant mech to show this thing came out by itself, but this gift pack never came out. Yeah. So I don't know if this has ever been seen. This gift pack. Huh. That looks like that looks like something that would have been at Sam's or something like that. Yeah, that. That's right. I'm vibe. curious like what the Costco price type would be thing. On. Yeah. Who knows? But this would probably be like eighty bucks, man. Right. So were those cardboard things gonna be actual figures, or no, that they no. were just stand- they were just there to show that you can take these figures and put them on the this giant mech thing? Oh. What a fucking waste of time! 
<laughs> All right, so Paul, maybe you can help me. I have a few items sure. which I'm not sure that came out, um, and I, I want to know if they did or not. This is an Optimus Prime from Transformers Animated in a cylindrical package. I want to say that came out, but I wouldn't have bought it myself. But I, I, th- I think I saw it, like either at Toys R Us or Walmart or something. He says his name's Optimus Prime. Okay. He, he's also saying roll out. Uh, it sounds like something Optimus would say. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if this package ever came out. If someone knows, please let me know. Uh, I found those in the free pile at work. This is a, a Movie One Optimus. I found this in a closet. It comes with a Legends Bumblebee and a Legends Jazz. So I don't know if this ever came out. It's in a tube. I'm pretty sure I have that, and I, I think that was a Sam's or a cost. It was you know, one of those big box stores that does one exclusive a year. I, like I was pretty up to date on all those, you know, which exclusives were what, but I like I'd never heard of this one. It's like 10 years ago. <laughs> this is 12 years ago. Yeah, Jesus. You're so, right. and this is the this is the one I've only seen two of these ever. This is the giant bumblebee, Whoa. and then it comes with a titanium bumblebee as well. So the only two I ever saw this one here and one that another designer named Steve Drucker has in his house. What's the titanium bumblebee? It's the it's the 1970s Camaro bumblebee. It's the little titanium, not the transforming titanium. Oh, is it kind of like an RPM sort of thing? Oh, you remember the titanium lines? They were little like like metal figures. Yeah. Yeah. Oh right. yeah yeah yeah. Right. Three inch. And they had the Three big inch. ones that transformed. So he comes with a little bonus. Um, titanium bumblebee and yeah i'm not i'm not sure i've ever seen that so this one i don't know if it came out i I can't find anything on this if someone knows if this came out please let me know um they did so many everything had a rounded edge in 2007 very difficult to keep boxed (laughs) yeah like that armada cybertron it's just tough to like when you have to move, it's tough to like pack them away and not yeah. have the boxes damaged. So, so that's just like recent stuff that I found that. That's awesome. That I don't know about, but um, if anyone knows, again, here's the prime set. If anyone knows if this came out, please, please. I, I just tried to look that one up on the wiki, and it says it's the entertainment pack. Well, there is an entertainment pack. But it's this was called an entertainment pack, but it had the three kids in it. it had Miko, Raph, and Brad, it's, it's, or whatever. I, his thought, name the, I was. thought I thought that one was the uh, the taxi Bumblebee in RC. No, that was the New York Comic Con exclusive. That that one didn't have the kids with it. Uh, it had two kids. Right, it had Carlos and Miko with it. Because mm-hmm. I worked they on that a, one. I love right, New that, York shirt and right. Bumblebee was done up as a taxi. Yeah, yeah, that was that was pretty. Right. Cool. So that was the New York Comic Con one. Yeah, I mean it's it's saying it's it's called Entertainment Pack with Silas and Mech Soldier on the wiki, but that's the wiki, so who knows? Okay, so that's what it is. But did it ever come out? Uh, it's not listed under unreleased, so I don't know. I'm it's just cool surprised that, it doesn't have the lot the loose cannons DVD. Seems like all of them just had loose cannons DVD with it. Uh, let's I, I, I love that Starscream deco. It was it was just kind of interesting, unique. It doesn't tell you what uh, what DVD. Is. It just says three episodes. Oh. Over one hour of entertainment. We need Prime. more cool gift sets. Prime was uh, Prime had a few boring episodes, but overall, I look on I look back fondly on that show compared to like Rescue Bot Academy and New Robots in Disguise and 
Yeah, yeah that's, that's hopefully show the new great. show with uh, uh, Netflix will be good. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, it won't be like the uh, Machinima shows. Right. Isn't it the same writing team? Or I don't care or... if it's the right the same writing team. Like what I care about is like the animation. the The problem with the Machinima shows is that they assumed you were you were up to date on IDW comics. That yeah. was the problem with it because they extrapolated a lot of things from IDW and they assumed you knew what was happening in the comic books. But then they went on their own complete different trajectory yeah. anyway, so it was like, what? Mm. Is it related or not? No, they, they weren't supposed to be related, but they, like, the basis of it came from the comic books. Like, the Mistress of Light, like, there's no explanation of who she is unless, you, unless you've read the comic book. Yeah. You know, you know what her backstory is. And the whole thing where they were, like, combiners, but you never actually saw them combine. Yeah. Because they didn't have that in the budget. Mm-hmm. And you're fighting Starscream is like fighting phantom limbs that are like they should have called that one the Phantom Menace. So anyway, Sean, you've been quiet for a while. What's what's on your mind? What's your take on all of this on the animation? Well, um, I'm wonder. I'm sitting here wondering if they're still doing the YouTube show. They did one season, right? Oh, the RID, Bum- you mean? We're Bum- yeah, Cyberverse. Well, it's the, it's Cyberverse. Yeah, it's Cyberverse. Cyberverse, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're Are doing they a second still, season. Is that still going? Okay. Uh, yeah. well, there's there's going to be a second season, yeah. Yeah, and I was like sitting here reflecting on how crappy Machinima was. I mean, yeah. I, I was falling asleep. I could not finish an episode. Yeah. I, I only <laughs> watched the first series. I couldn't I couldn't sift through the rest. But Cyberverse yeah. was, was pretty entertaining. I mean... For what it was, you know, I think it helped that they were very short episodes. If I had mm-hmm. to sit through a half hour of that, it would have been tough. But. Um, so, in other media, do you guys play the collector's card game? I the have TFG? a lot of the. I yeah. have a lot of the cards, but I have not played it extensively. I, I have the cards, but I've never played. I've never played the game. Like I'm not and into I've, that whole magic world and. Yeah. and everything. Happen, but I yeah. have the cards. I've been very tempted to get the cards. And I saw the Devastator pack at Barnes & Noble, and I was very tempted. Oh, that's out already? Yeah, Yeah, I guess. it's been out for... The Devastator one's I'll, been out for like a month or so. I'll have to get Yeah, that's that. the first I've seen it. I, you know, I'll be honest, I haven't opened any of the packs. Like, I have a whole bunch of packs from Series 2 with, the, with Predaking on it. Mm-hmm. I haven't opened a single one. I just... I have a uh, I have a backlog going back 20 years of items that I still have to open. So I'm thinking of doing a show called Cut the Tape, or <laughs> um, or <laughs> something because like like I have um, so I said I collect, I collect two of each right one to open yeah. one to be sealed so like I have a bunch of figures which I've never opened like R.I.D. Brave Max all the E hobby reissues, the the fire guts Jinrai, the piss yellow magnet. Like I have all those ready to open, and now I'm like, do I open them? Even though I have two, should I open it or should I not open it? That's a tough like, call. I, I have a 20 year. I literally have a 20 year backlog of shit waiting for me to open. It's Rick's time capsule. <laughs> Just, I like just that. Put, it, put it all I in a box. I think it might be better to, to like pick out some like crappy stuff to unbox, you know. So you're like, God, I waited 20 years for this. So like, this thing's a like piece that, of junk. Like that movie stuff you showed us. Go ahead and open that. <laughs> yeah, but I only have like one of those. Like, like at least with these sets, I, I have like two of each of these. Yeah. But like the, that Megatron and and some of the other guys, like I only have one of. So were those basically so. samples, I guess, since they were never released? Yeah, they like never came out. Packaging never. samples. And... They never came out. I yeah. mean, they were ready to go, you know. The, the paint masks were made, and the, the bubble inserts were, were made. Mm-hmm. They just... I mean, you're sitting on kind of a gold mine with just those first four. 
<laughs> that you show. Well, I mean, I would never sell them. You know, they're. Yeah, I know. You know, I, I don't. You know. So it's, 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 I, lo I love that. I love that though, because you know, there's someone out there that might see that and be like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> just yeah. freaking out. Do you well, have a? Do you have an animated Thundercracker? Oh yeah. yeah. Any of that weird stuff? Cause um, I, I haven't gotten to that because I don't have an animated Thundercracker on the box. I have I one loose. I, ha I, I have all three of those. There were any? I, I've never known of any that were. That there was, was one in the box. Wow. I believe Eric Siebenauer still has it. There was also the uh, the Wing Optimus Prime in the box. What was it called? Whatever. It came out in Japan. Exactly. Yeah. Generally. Whatever whatever it was, it actually came out in the box, and Eric Siebenauer had it on his desk, and I, and I went to his office one day, I'm like, Hey, where's the Optimus? He's like, Oh, I gave a bunch of toys away to a kid. I'm like, You gave him the Jetwing Optimus? <laughs> oh, shit. That was the only one we had in the box. So there are no more Jetwing Optimuses in the box. But I have a Jetwing Optimus. I have the Bumblebee. Um, there was never a Hasbro uh, blackout. So that they well, never existed for you, Hasbro. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was because I've I've seen it like in person and it was a, to it's a totally different deco than the um, than the Japanese one and it came from the same source as the animated Thundercracker, but that I mean, was years ago I've, and it's not here anymore. So I mean I worked with Eric on that so that never even came up. I mean we talked about putting out the Optimus Bumblebee and Blackout as exclusives with like DVDs later on. Um, but I mean, I'd love to see it. I'll see if I, I'll see if I can uh, scrub yeah. some photos up. Yeah, I I don't I, I don't know. I've, I've as far as I know that Eric was the only one who worked on it, so he's the one to, to ask actually. But that, I can tell you that one and the Bumblebee never got packaged. Um, the Optimus was the only one to get packaged, and I think we only did one. Um, so I have the Optimus, I have the Bumblebee, I have the Thundercracker. I think I have a blur with the silver deco. There was a whole bunch of deluxes that never came out. They're all pictured in the in the almanac, I think, the animated almanac. Or most of them. So I know the wasp doesn't exist anymore. That was that was uh, painted over, I believe. Oh, uh, that that would have been such a great toy. That was that was a really cool release. Yeah, so that was from the exclusives team, and I and we oh. just didn't have the budget to tool up a new head. There was no budget to tool up a new head. It really needed it, and I kept pushing for that one for like BotCon or the Collectors Club, and it just never, it never happened. Um, oh, so Paul, you might know this, uh, or Lucas, did the Cliff Jumper ever come out for the little the animated activators? Was that ever released at retail? Yes. I thought yeah. so. Yes, okay. so I believe it is. Yep. What, ab what about the white sound wave in the U.S. packaging? I don't think there's any packaged ones, but I've I've seen a. I think I actually have a white sound wave, the little activator guy. So that if you have one of those, that would be very cool. This is great. I don't know if you guys like <laughs> like this stuff, but this is a this is like jumping in a time capsule. And seeing shit that it's I never crazy. existed. And, yeah, that's the thing that's always crazy about Transformers is how much of this stuff is just wild, you know, weird variants and, you know, things that, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, when all this stuff was coming out, it was like kind of a Transformers was really hot. And the TFW, like Facebook was existed but it just wasn't like it is now and like tfw was the place or cybertron you know and i i had friends in chicago like that were getting this stuff you know from different sources and mm -hmm. it's just crazy to to kind of relive some of those wild times like, like we someone would call it like hey or we had a text group and they're like hey i got animated thundercracker you guys want to come see it and we'd all just like scramble and go meet at a bar and be playing with a toy at a bar and then later that guy sold it for like 1400 bucks, something like that, you know? Like, cause those things are rare. That's crazy. Yeah. So have these ever been seen? These are two packs of the uh, Bumper Battlers 
but Ratchet is in his movie colors. Oh, yeah, weird. I don't Ratchet know. This is the same, but Ratchet is in the movie colors, and it's a two-pack. Mm. Huh. I'm, I'm pretty sure I have the white sound wave in the U.S. packaging. I know I have a few loose, and I, I think I have one in like a bag with like a green tag on it. There was like a BotCon where one dealer had a few of them, and he wanted like 150 bucks a piece. And this what? is uh, Look at that. This is bulkhead. It's Soundwave. No, this is bulkhead and Soundwave colors with Jazz in another two pack. So I don't, <clears throat> I don't think these ever came out. These definitely weren't pictured in the book. I, not that I know of. I've never seen that blue, that Soundwave uh, bulkhead. That's super yeah. cool. Or is, so, is it actually supposed to be Soundwave, or is it... Bulk? No, it's it says Bulkhead. It's definitely Bulkhead, because the packaging, and it says uh-huh. Bulkhead. It's, what's, it's, the, what's on the back, though? It looked like it was actually Soundwave, but I might have been... No, 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 no. Like, it's, it's even got it's, an Autobot symbol. Yeah, no, it's it's Bulkhead. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, totally. Because huh. the Autobot symbol, is, it's molded on there. It's Bulkhead. But, you know, it's, like, weird, because Ratchet's in his movie colors. Well, there was that. There was a gift set where he came like that, right? The, like the a, target, the yeah. And, and season four, Ratchet was going to be in that color oh. for season four of animated, which is weird. Like, you know, you have a character on a TV show, but you can only get him through like one exclusive retailer, right? Which yeah. means that in Europe, he he wouldn't have been an exclusive, but. I miss that animated those animated nice. days. That was a really cool time to be a Transformers fan. I'm just like I'm just digging through stuff and seeing what I have, and I'm finding like stuff I didn't, you know. Honestly, I would get stuff put in the box, and that would be the end of it. Well, that's what's that's what's kind of fun about bin life, if you if you will, because everyone rags on it. But when you actually get to crack open those bins after a few years, it's like it's like it's just the best feeling because you're like, oh my god, I have this! I didn't even know this. Yeah, was I didn't know this existed, <laughs> and I have it. So uh, I've I've told the story before, but uh, one time I went to a store, and he had a Transformers Metals, which was the Japanese name for Trans Metals, uh, uh, Silver Bolt versus Rampage two pack, and it was like forty five bucks, and I'm like forty five bucks, I'll buy that all day every day. So I bought it, and I took it home. And the Rampage is cool because he's got an X written on the back of him. Because he's protoform X. So I take it home, and I'm like, where am I going to put this? And I look on my, my Beast Wars section, and I, and I go, oh. And there's a Silver Bolt Rampage 2-pack sitting on the shelf. And I'm like, well, I, I guess I have one to open now. So I take the one off the shelf because I have to compare them to see if there's any variants. And there's another one sitting right behind it. <laughs> so... Yeah. That's a thing. I was muted. Whoops. Uh, a wise collector once told me, when in doubt, buy them out. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, I've like got things. a bunch of those uh, built to rule from the Cincinnati market. Just sitting here. Oh, like the Energon Stars? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, I don't think so anyone the, gives a shit about them. Was Nobody an cares. Animated Omega Supreme ever, ever in development or a thing no, or an idea? Never, never. But we we had talked about it, but it never, nothing was ever drawn up. The line was dead by then. We had talked about doing a, an Energon or an Animated Omega Supreme, and then doing an alternate head that would have been uh, Lugnut. Yeah, but it never it never came out. It never it, it never got past that uh, just conversation. Yeah. And then we talked about doing a uh, Devastator. So um, animated Devastator would have been bulkhead as the the main body with uh, scrap metal and Mixmaster, and then who was the little guy? Ah. Uh. Dirt Boss. Um, Dirt Boss, yeah. Dirt Boss, yeah. He would have been the head. And then two new Constructicons as the legs. The bulkhead would have been the body. Um, but that, that never got pat. You know, season four never never happened. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> Paul had like a ghost appear there or something. 
of a dose of a freaky ghost. <sighs> Better call. Uh, uh, I hate to do it. I I gotta run. Yeah, I think right, well, we've, we've been, been going, going on for almost an hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I think we probably need to wrap Let's it up call it. anyway. So call Let's it. Let's call it. It says it's, it's been fun. Me. Do the batteries well, work? Oh no, the batteries. Hey, the batteries work. Oh, Woo! Look at that. Woo! Wow. So do you worry about the batteries seeping out and destroying the insides? Out of sight, out of mind. Same here. <laughs> what am I? What, what do you want me to do, Lucas? Do you want me to fucking open it and take the batteries out? Is yes. That what you do? Yeah, there, Sean, there you go. Sean, God put it in the box that way. It wouldn't be right to. That's uh, right. <laughs> Don't mess with God. Why don't you open your fucking eyes, man? <laughs> God damn. So, well, you don't realize oh, how every bad... show you say something to piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I show off uh, one thing quick? This is the uh, PFCon exclusive. Oh, now nice. how come I haven't been invited to that show yet? Um, what because it's that? it's not it's not really a show. It's uh, gotcha. it's a drunk fest at my uh, place. Bunch but, of guys. Uh, there will be there will be pretty sick exclusives. But speaking of which, I, I, I have to go pick up my wife and uh, she was she did something really nice for me today, so I gotta go be nice to her. Yeah. But uh, you know what that means, Sarah. anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Still no All right now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well thank you very much. Vis- visit our, our sponsors and we're on Patreon. Uh, yeah. Captured Prey and and I think it's just captured prey now. Isn't there a T-shirt thing as well? No, or no, we're, we're, no. It's just no. Fuck them. Fuck them. Yeah. Captured prey. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. Spirit. Captured prey. <laughs> just go buy shit there. All right. Oh, there we go. All right. Thank, thank you and good night. All right. Night, Bye guys. See you. All right. Thanks. Uh, See you guys. Yeah.